And baby, when I tell you, I used to be like, I'm not doing all that, but baby, <laughs> food is high, okay? I love these skirts, okay? So, yeah, but. <laughs> Right now. <laughs> talk about that. We could talk about this. Talk about that. We could talk about this. Talk about that. Antony's unfiltered. Hey y'all, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jimmy Antony's, and you are here on Antony's.com. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to all my A-listers. Hey girl, hey. And if you are new, hello, how are you? All you gotta do is hit that subscribe button, and you can be a part of the A-list too. Y'all, it is Monday, um, August. 19th i believe might be august 20th i have no idea but it's monday night it's like nine o'clock i just got through cooking spaghetti if y'all can see it over there on the counter i can't pick it up because it's hot so but i just got through cooking spaghetti and so oh ooh, that's why i'm in the kitchen y'all my tripod is broke my god today whole camera almost just went down my god oh that would have been the tragedy okay let me fix y'all hold on Okay, I think I got y'all back up here, right? Did I introduce the video? Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm your grand city, so you're hanging out at cities.com. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to all my A-listers. Hey, girl, hey. And if you are new, hello, how are you? Now, all you gotta do is hit that subscribe button, and you can be a part of the A-list, too. Y'all, the camera almost went down. Oh, my God. But I was coming on here to tell y'all that I'm in here cooking spaghetti. I just burnt up the bread. Some of the bread is burnt. I'm talking about it's burnt, honey. It's burnt. You might still eat inside, but the outside is burnt. It's burnt, so yeah. But we still, we got enough to be able to eat. Quan is in on the phone with his little brother. I don't know why he's so loud, but he is. It's my day. I wanted to come on here and kick off the vlog. Just say, hey, how y'all doing? It's 9.30. I think I kind of feel in the mood to start by doing Monday Minute tonight. If you're new here, Monday Minute is the thing that I usually do on live, on Facebook and Instagram. Where I just kind of get on there and just, you know, chit chat. You know, do a little chitty chat. Just, you know. I always say I talk about whatever the Lord lays upon my heart. And I have not done Monday Minute, I think, since January. I think it's been January since I went live. But I feel like doing it tonight. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I just wanted to come on here and say, hey, yeah, start the blog off. Um, This week coming up, we're traveling. We're actually going to Jacksonville and to Miami. We are, we have a nail appointment. We have lashes. We have a couple things going on. Um, I was gonna say we're gonna take our braids out, but we won't be taking our braids out till next week because we're traveling with these braids this week. We hold on to them, and y'all, to be honest, they don't look that bad. Like they be looking bad when I be on here because I don't been doing that to them. But once I wet them up and oil them up and put some little leave in on them, they be back all right. They be back all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and prepare myself because I think I am gonna do the Monday minute, and I'll check back in with y'all in a little bit. Good morning, y'all. It is Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday. Um, I don't think I talked to y'all since Monday. But, of course, I ain't been doing nothing. It's beginning of the week. Y'all know how that go. I'm now currently headed out the door. Well, not headed out the door. to get dressed to head out the door to go get um, my lashes done. And I'm trying to decide if I want to like put on clothes or not. I also have a nail appointment today. But my lash appointment is at 10. And my nail appointment is not till 2. So, I'll technically go get my lashes done come back home and then go get my nails done um and it ended up like this because i've been had my nail appointment and i just booked my lash appointment like last week because <sighs> y'all know i like my stuff back to back but which i could go um get my lashes done get my toes polished because y'all know i do pedicure one time polish one time pedicure one time and this is the time just for me to get a polish so i could leave from getting my um lashes done and go get my toes polished i don't like to do that though because a lot of times i don't know what color i want on my toes until i get my nails done so i'd be liking to get my nails done first but i have some inspo pictures of stuff i think i'm gonna get and i think i'm gonna go ahead and pick one of them and that's what i think i'm gonna do when i leave from getting my lashes done then i'm gonna just go get my nails done too okay so i'm about to get dressed real fast and then I'll meet y'all probably in the car. All right, y'all. So I'm dressed. Just picked out my scent. Alien. I have on this little tan two-piece set from 
fashion over just some shorts and the top so um yeah i'm gonna just put on this as my center of the day so let's put that on and get out the door <sighs> all right y'all we headed to our last appointment we actually like right up the street um i'll be there in like maybe two minutes my appointment is in like 10 minutes i'll be there in like two minutes um I need to be looking at these nail design, these yeah, these nail design, because I need to figure out what I'm gonna do about my toes. Y'all, I dropped my cell phone on my foot the other day, and when I tell y'all, I thought my toe was broke. Like I thought my toe was broke. Um, it hurt so bad. Like even with my shoe on now, like it hurt so bad. Not only like, uh, girl, not only is you driving the recording, you don't have on your seatbelt. Thank you, seatbelt, for letting everybody know my business. <laughs> um, and I didn't put my seatbelt on just so I got this crossbody on. I know this is not an excuse, but y'all, I didn't feel like taking my purse off over my hair and then putting on my, it, I, I'm going right up the street, right up the street. No fat, fast traffic. Somebody hit me. I shouldn't fly no windshield or nothing because um, we ain't even driving that fast going up this road, okay? But I need that seatbelt to be quiet. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> Ooh, I'm talking about so embarrassing. <sighs> All right, y'all. So we headed to get our lashes done. We're like right here by the lash place. Um, we have like seven minutes to get there. We'll be there in like one minute. Um. I should have been looking at designs. I ain't have time. Like, I always go from having a bunch of time to having no time at all and I be rushing. I don't know how that keeps happening to me, but that's what happens every time it's time for me to go somewhere. Every dang on time. And then, my foot was hurting because I dropped my cell phone on my toe the other day. This thing is finna start. Ugh. All right, y'all. We just made it to our last appointment. Um, and I'm over here fighting with the compact car spaces again. And I ain't in no compact car. I'ma just let me see can I um Alright y'all we here and I'm gonna ask your point man. Um Y'all know we have to fight with them parking spots with all them compact parking spaces so we was able to find the parking space y'all can hear me running I'm like one minute late right now but let's go ahead and get our lashes done I didn't have time to look for me a nail design. <sighs> so, I don't know about my going to get my toes done after this, but we'll see. I'll talk to y'all in a minute. My lashes was amazing. As soon as I landed back. That's when you start having problems. They started falling right on now. Well, and I was in the water, salt water and everything. I'm sorry, I'm talking. Oh, no, you fine, child, you fine. Yeah, it, it's when, and I, I thought about that when I saw that post you made. I was like, yeah, it was when I came back, so I'll show y'all my lashes when we're done. Wait, All right, y'all, so I am done getting my lashes done. I got these shades on the top of my glasses. I think I told y'all this before, because sometimes the sun irritates my eyes when I get my lashes done. I decided to go ahead and come right here to the um, place to get my toes polished so I can get that on out the way, and then I go to my nail appointment next. I kind of know... What kind of design I want on my nails. So I'm going to just get one of the colors that's in the design on my toes. Um, We're just getting the polish change so that shouldn't take long. I'll let y'all see my lashes when I get home because I don't want to take these shades off right now. But we're about to go ahead and go into the nail shop. They're going to be trying to do my nails. Especially when they see my nails looking like this. They're going to be like, you want, you want nail done? You want nail done? I don't feel like that today. But I just need to get my toes polished. So we're gonna, we should be in and out. So I will see y'all in a second. All right, y'all, so my toes are done. I think I'm gonna break tradition with my nail appointment today and go get me some Popeyes instead of um, me a sandwich. I think that's what I'm doing. I'm looking now to see what kind of Popeyes coupon I got. Y'all, my friend put me on using the apps like for your food and stuff. And baby, when I tell you, I used to be like, I'm not doing all that, but baby, <laughs> food is high, okay? Food is high, so every time I'm going to a restaurant, I'll be like, wait, let me see if I got a coupon. Cause like the big box, y'all know the big box used to be five dollars. It's seven dollars now. It's seven dollars, and I be needing an extra little piece of chicken, okay? So I'm trying to see. I hate that they don't have um Cajun rice no more. 
Like, I hate them when I have Cajun rice. They can get rid of that macaroni and cheese and bring back Cajun rice because why they ain't got Cajun rice? Like, I love Cajun rice. And this Popeyes over here, I found the Popeyes that have strawberry jelly, honey. So I'm gonna give me an extra biscuit. Let me see what's on these coupons. I need to buy three pieces of chicken, two sides, and an extra biscuit. It, wings and tenders, two can die. Six wings, three tenders. See, I don't want all that. I don't want all that. Twelve. Six pieces of wings, three tenders. But why I gotta get wings? Is these like the little wings? Or is these like regular wings? I don't really need them tenders. Y'all can keep them tenders, young tender. I'm gonna put the whole thing. You know, Y'all can keep them tenders. Oh, I found me a. Oh, I found me something. I found me something, y'all. I found me a coupon. I found me a coupon. So, yeah, I'm gonna go to Popeyes. I got a pee, though. So, the nail, the place I get my toes done is right down the street from my house. So, I'm thinking about stopping my home because I got a pee. And then it is 12:45. My nail appointment is at two. The nail appointment place is probably 15 minutes from my house. But if I'm not, I need to be at my door probably by uh 1:30. I'm gonna just stop and pee and then come right back out the door because I need to be back at the door probably about 1:15, 1:30 so I can start the Popeyes, pull up to the nail place so that I didn't eat my Popeyes. I ain't got to rush and all that. So, but I gotta stop by my house because I gotta pee. Like I gotta pee. So, yeah, let's go home, use the bathroom, and then should I be saying gotta pee on here? I don't know, y'all. Y'all know I'm. Listen, let me tell y'all something. This platform for me, I, I, this has become my favorite thing to do. The blog. This has become my favorite thing to do, and I think it's because I finally figured out like I'm a woman in my forties. Um, and I don't know many other women in their forties like me. And when I say that, first of all, I don't live a very traditional life. I don't have a job. I'm building a business, but I am building it from scratch. And baby, it is hard. Okay. But I've been a business owner. I haven't had a real job since 2011. So it's 2024. I haven't had a real job in 13 years. And I talked about this in one of my other blogs. How I thought about going to get a job. But I don't even know what I know how to do. You know. So to me, it's, it's, I have to keep like building my business. Building my business. Building my business. So that's what I'm doing. So that's one thing. For two things, I'm an empty nester. And most of the time when people talk about being empty nesters, it's like a two-parent household. And these parents have their children have went off to college or whatever. Like I don't have kids. Like Quan comes home. Quan has been home um what for a month and it's time for Quan and Quan to go back to work. So Quan will be gone from for the rest of the year. So I'll be back home for the rest of the year. And then at the beginning of the year, Quan is moving somewhere else. So I will be by myself for real, for real. Um I'm not like a, a very cutesy, very uh demure. I'm not like that. I'm not one of them kind of girls. Like I'm a I'm a young kind of 40. Like I'm not a put together polish kind of 40 girl i ain't like i'm not and i'm okay with i'm okay with that it's just like i think that there's not enough representation for women like me <laughs> who like fall over the damn place <laughs> but no for real like i think that we have these stories in our head how we think life is supposed to be how life is supposed to go so sometimes we are afraid or sometimes life don't look like what we thought it was supposed to look like and so we get these places like i didn't think my life was gonna look like this at 42 years old i'd be 43 in october so at 42 43 years old i didn't think this is how my life was gonna look i can't even remember how i thought my life was gonna look but i didn't think it would look like it do now but i'm learning to adjust and i'm not afraid of what's to come i'm not afraid i'm just going with you know what i'm saying i know what i want for me and i'm just doing what i can do to make that happen that's all i can do you know so I hope y'all can see me while I'm doing all this damn talking. Um, yeah, I'm, I, but I'm not very cutesy. I'm not very mindful. I'm not very demure, okay? I am rough around the edges. And I think that enough of us, it, it's like either people are, are demure, they're put together, or they out here fighting in the middle of the street. And I think there's an in-between, and I'm in-between. Because I'm not fighting nobody now. I ain't, yo, don't put, no, hey, unless you put your hands on me. Now, you put your hands on me, that's another story. But I ain't going out here looking for no fights and things. You know, I'm not, you know... I'm not, I don't have no house full of kids. I don't have, I'm not, I mean, I'm not ghetto. <laughs> I'm not ghetto. I'm hood. I'm not ghetto. So I don't think enough hood representation is seen. I think you're either put together or you're ghetto. Like there's no in between. And there's a difference between being hood and ghetto. It ain't shit ghetto about me. <laughs> no, that's where we draw the line, you know. But I just think that, you know, I don't, you know, I'm here for the people who are like me, who, you know, 
look like me, I like me uh, in my situation because you don't get to see us enough, you know? I hope that made sense. I hope that made sense. But y'all, let's go use this bathroom and then we can go get us some chicken and then we're going to go get our nails done because look at our nails. And y'all know, I told y'all last time I got my nails done, I did not like them. Um, because I let her kind of freestyle and do what she want to do and y'all know I told y'all that that don't work for me Like I like to be in control. So I have picked my design. My toes are polished I am ready to get my nails done. I have my design that I have picked myself that very cute and very mindful very demure Okay, I have to pick my own stuff. I can't let nobody just do what they want to do to me because I don't mm -mm, That don't work for me. My nails are growing back if you've been here if you watch my other vlogs You know that my nail my whole nail came off my finger. It was that one and it was this one. This one done grow real good so, last time she put um, press-ons on those two nails, so I'll probably get press-ons again, probably this time, next time, and by that time, my nails should be growing back already. I'm also going to ask her um, about Gel X. Is Gel X, will Gel X be better for the health of my nails than um, acrylic? Because if so, I might switch to Gel X as well. Um, but yeah, so let's go use the bathroom so we can get us some chicken so we can go get our nails done. All right, y'all. Came in the house. I got an Amazon package. It was delivered last night. I just got it out the box today. And this is actually my outfit that I'm wearing to the concert that I'm going to this weekend. I think y'all will see that travel vlog. I'm going to Fort Lauderdale um, for a Bougie Bonfine concert. And y'all probably will see that travel vlog before y'all see this. Cause this one will go up until, and that'll go up that Wednesday. This will go up that Sunday. So this is the outfit that I'm wearing. And it's just a two piece. Oh, it's, it's the top kind of crop. Oh, I don't know if I'm wearing this top, but I do know I'm wearing this here. Um, I got a couple of these little green shirts. Um, I got pink, I got, well, I got pink, green, and black. So yeah, I'm gonna wear this little outfit. I didn't know this top was like cropped. I'm gonna have to try this on to see can it like tuck in because I don't really like crop. But I usually wear the skirt kind of high waisted, so it should be fine. And I'm gonna wear tennis shoes with that. But I don't know if I'm gonna wear, cause y'all know my hair old. So I don't know if I wanna wear like a Gucci hat and Gucci tennis shoes, or do I wanna tie my Louis Vuitton bandeau around my head, bandeau bandeau with a uh, Louis Vuitton um. Louis Vuitton tennis shoes because I can do Louis Vuitton tennis shoes and my brown Louis Vuitton crossbody like this or I could do I have a brown and red Gucci bag that I can wear too that matches with my Gucci tennis shoes so I don't know but I know I'm wearing tennis shoes and both of those are pretty comfortable and then um I'm wearing tennis shoes and I don't know if I'm wearing a hat or a scarf around my head now it is now 1.10, I'm finna go ahead and head back out the door because like I told y'all, my appointment is at 2. I do want to stop the Popeyes. And I also want to, um, I have a call with one of my clients at 2. But as long as I'm already in there sitting down getting my nails done, so I want to be through eating and everything. Sitting down in the chair, walking in about 1.55, get set up so I can do my client while I'm getting my nails done. So that's the goal. Let me take this little thing from between my toes. From the nail shop. Mm. All right, so yeah, let's go ahead and go so we can get our Popeyes. I can get a sandwich another day. Yeah, we're just going to stick with Popeyes. So yeah, let's head out the door. So we have made it to our nail appointment. Y'all, I sat here and I ate my Popeyes. It is now 1.53. I'm going to go in here and wash my hands and I'm going to sit down and get ready for my nail appointment. Um, My Popeyes was good. Y'all, I really didn't eat nothing. So I ended up having a coupon for some wings and some tenders. I ate two chicken tenders. I ate my biscuit and I ate my mashed potatoes. All I really wanted was the mashed potatoes and the biscuits. I didn't really want the, um, I wanted chicken, but I didn't have no coupon for just chicken, you know. And I could have just got, I really should have just got the $5 box. I don't know why I got all this, because I didn't want this shit. I should have just got the, I keep saying the $5 box, but the big box is $7. Because this right here was $11. I don't know why I didn't just get the $7. I just fucked up, y'all. I just thought about it since I'm talking to y'all. I just fold up, but it's okay. It's okay. Let's go ahead and get our nails done because I need to wash my hands because they're sticky. So let's go ahead and get our nails done and I'll show y'all what I'm wearing and what I'm getting. Let's suppose that if you hit it, it don't take your whole nail. Okay. Yeah. So you think that nail can get the gel now? I can do that. 
You want to try them so I can see how I like them? Yeah. Okay. It's kind of like having somebody else talking through you. And this was nothing in these churn. That girl was a good wholesome girl, but the brother daughter was off the chain and the girl it was like they sit felt like they was treating her better than they were treating her, but she wasn't doing all that shit the other girl was doing. I am just without mm -hmm. Them grandparents love them though. Them grandparents they love them fucking churn. And it's like, I guess if my family was rich, would I want to live all us live in one big house together? Like, that, I, I could see that you being grown and that being a mess. Oh, that's yeah, just, I just drank. Yeah, mm-mm. I let my husband and mama fool me while I'm out. Hell no. Yeah, no. <laughs> but I don't start liking the tote, like, small purses. Mm. So I'm going to get me a, um, oh, a this, new little camera, a GoPro. So I can, it's a small little camera that I can put it in. You were mm -hmm. just so happy, just like the old days. <laughs> I'll never report. So, as you can see, these three nails. So y'all, y'all know I came in with these two off. This one right here was lifting, but I hadn't cracked my real nail across the middle. So she put gel X on these three. So this will be my first time trying gel X. So we'll see how I like the gel X, and then we just kept acrylic on the other one. So remember, I was saying to y'all, I was going to ask her about should I do gel X or should I do acrylic. Um, so we're going to try these Gel X ones out and see how I like it. So now we just have to get the nails designed. But this is what they look like before she designs them. So we are done. This is what my nails look like. And then in the morning, he's so upset, he kills her and cuts this her into 12 the first pieces and sends one to each of the Polish tribes. And then this is the second. Why is Aren't the they Bible? so pretty? Aren't they pretty? Do -do 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 -do. This is like my end of fall nails. This is like Labor Day. This gives Labor Day on them. See? Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. So we leave leaving here. I don't have anything else to do today. I got to go home and pack. And I think that's it. I'm sleeping. So let's just get out of here and then we'll figure it out when we get home. So I made it back home. I came here. I don't know if y'all could saw. If y'all could see my nails good when I was getting them. If y'all could saw. If y'all saw my nails good when I was at the nail shop. That's one hand. And then this is the other hand. Oh. I really love them. And y'all remember last time I was saying about how I didn't like my nails because I didn't pick out the design. I'm a control freak, y'all. Oh, I'm a control freak. So I love them today. Anytime I give her anything to do, she always executes it perfectly. Like last time it was just, I just didn't like it just because I didn't pick it out. I can't let people just do what they want to do to me. So y'all know we're traveling tomorrow. So I'm going to Jacksonville Thursday. Flying out of Jacksonville to Miami, Fort Lauderdale on Friday. I'll be back to Jacksonville on Sunday. And I have an event, a creator event that I'm going to on Sunday. And the dress code is new, shades of new. I don't have any new clothes. Like, and I got a couple little things, but it's nothing that streams I'm a content creator. So I'm gonna try on a couple of things for that. I was finna take me a nap, but I need to try this stuff on. And then I got some other little things I need to like wrap up today before tomorrow. So I'm gonna make me a little snack. And then get to that. Try on this outfit and um finish up my little project I was working on. We also got another package. Hold on, I'm gonna put y'all up here. Just trying to see what I can sit y'all at on this bookshelf. I got y'all <clears throat> back on the try on the small handheld tripod. But trying to find a way to sit y'all up here. Will that work? I just broke up with my, oh, we all cricket. Give me head top. So stay right there, okay? So we got another package from Amazon. And this is two Maybelline Fit Me Powders. Y'all know I've been trying to look for something that's close to my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And I've heard good things about this. I used to wear this years ago. I haven't tried it in a while, so I got a darker one for like my overall face. And then I got a lighter one to like set my concealer. So I got the 360 and the 320. So the 320 would go like to set wherever I put concealer and the 360 would go over my whole face. I hope y'all can see that. Um, so I'm excited about adding those into my makeup routine. 
Cause y'all know I've been trying to like find my signature makeup routine and I kind of got it down pat um, with the things that I have in my little travel makeup bag but I'll be adding those in as like my setting powder. So there's that. So let me fix my little snack and then I gotta try these clothes on. This little outfit, try to put an outfit together or I might have to order something off Amazon. So let's see. Okay, so y'all, this is the red outfit. Of course, I'm gonna put on shapewear. I always wear shapewear, zoom in, so that won't be so loose like that, loose as a goose, but I love the outfit. I also don't like for you to be able to see my navel print right there, so I always wear shapewear, cause yeah. But this is the outfit. Y'all know I love these skirts. If you've been here, I love these skirts, okay? So, yeah, but the top is, I think I got it on backwards. If I'm being honest, I think I got it on backwards, but I ain't gonna turn it around and all that because it was hard to get in. Um, the top is kind of croppy. I like that though, because I can either wear it like this so you know it's a two-piece set with a little skin showing, or I could just pull the skirt up and make it like a whole little, you know, da -da -da -da. like it's stuck in, because I thought the shirt was a bodysuit when I saw it. Um, Ashley, Simone, is it actually Simone, I think, had this skirt on and she sent me the link for it. So I got it from her. I think it's gonna be cute with my tennis shoes and me a little crossbody or something. Or a little, um, something around my waist. But yeah, so this is the outfit I'm gonna be wearing to the concert. So now I just gotta figure out what I'm doing about this, um, murderer. Blood is on your shoulder. Kill like today, you cannot kill like tomorrow. Murder inside my throttle. How does it feel to take a life of an hour? <laughs> no, now I just gotta be out what I'm gonna do about the tan outfit for the creative event. So let me try some stuff for that. Okay, so this is what we had, and this is our outfit choice. So I'm gonna do it all red, and I'm gonna either do this little baton crossbody. With these little baton shoes with one of these around my head. Y'all know my hair nappy, but I gotta preserve my hair. I gotta make it look good. So I have this one, which is the I think the zodiac sign one that says like Libra. No, 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 no. This is not the zodiac sign. So, so I have this one. I have this one, which I think I'm I'm leaning towards this one for some reason. Or this one. This is the zodiac sign one. It says Libra on it somewhere around here right there but I think I'm more I thought I was leaning towards this one but I think if I wear it I'm gonna wear this one or I could do a little Gucci setup Gucci shoes Gucci bag Gucci hat and I know the brown from the hat is kind of off from the shoes and the purse but from my head to my feet it'll be fine because I got to put something on my head that's the purpose of me doing it so I don't know if I want to do the Louis Vuitton setup or the Gucci setup but I think I'm leaning towards the Louis Vuitton. And see, this is just like a high low look, like an Amazon outfit. And then you put your, you know, your pieces that cost a little bit, you put that with it, you know? But I think I'm leaning towards the Louis Vuitton. I'm gonna do this headband, Louis Vuitton shoes, this crossbody. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm, I'm just trying to get this together because I'm not taking all this stuff with me, of course. If I'm not wearing it, I'm not taking it with me. So now I need to figure out about the nude outfit. Okay, for this nude outfit. We starting off with these pants. I think this is the only nude bottom I have. And that's the problem because I don't have any nude bottoms. And I put this bodysuit with it because I don't want to do this whole, you know, this. Well, y'all might not know, but these pants is a two-piece set. I don't want to do a two-piece set. I want to do something different. I started off with this top. And it's a bodysuit. So that's what y'all see right here in the front of this if y'all see something. I don't love this, but I actually don't hate it. Can y'all see me I'm trying to get the way the sun? I actually don't hate it. I actually don't hate it. I have another leopard top. Hold on. Hold on, be right back. Okay, different top. Again, don't hate it, but don't love it. I actually like the first top better. This one is more like of a snake skin material. They're both kind of sheer. The first one is leopard. This one is more like snaky. But I think they're both too dark for the pants. So let's try a different top. Now this is the top that actually goes with the outfit. 
I do kind of like to switch up with putting a leopard little top up under it. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with this outfit, but it's so stiff. And I've had it at this point for years. I've had it for years since probably 2021, 22. And it's stiff. Why is it so stiff? And I have it in green too. The green one not as stiff as this one. But this outfit is so stiff. That's why I don't really like to wear it. And then it's just seemed like I just always, I've been trying to mix and match my two-piece sets lately. So, I don't know. I could uh, throw this on there just to give it a different little look, a different little feel. Or I was going to try to do the top in some different ways. So, let's see. Mama, what you doing? Hey, Gwenny. Say they go my Gwenny. Say on the phone, my Gwenny. Say my Gwenny is calling. Hey, Gwenny. Hello, I need. Hey, Gwenny, how you doing? Hey, Gwenny. Say I talking to my Gwenny. I talking to my Gwenny. Say I being a big girl, I not crying. I not crying. I talking to my Gwenny on the phone. Hey, Gwenny. Hey, the sugar mama. Hey, Shook. Shook. Hey, Shook. Hey, Shook. Hey, the sugar mama. Hey, girl. What you laughing at? What you laughing at? Yeah. So I laugh because I talk to my granny. Say so I on the phone, my Gwenny. Say so I know that's my Gwenny on that phone. Yeah. Say so I know that's my Gwenny on that phone. Say so that's why I laugh because I know I talk to my Gwenny. I know I talk to my Gwenny. I know I talk to my Gwenny. Say so, hey Gwenny. Hey Gwenny Gwenny. Hey Gwenny Gwenny. Hey girl. Say my Gwenny coming to see me soon. Yep, say my Gwenny coming to see me soon. Say my Gwenny coming to see me soon. Say hey sucker, say my Gwenny coming to see me. My Gwenny is coming to see me. Say yes she is, she will coming to see me. Turn them cameras on. One by one, one by one. Here they come, Courtney. I don't want to scare the people. Reginae, Courtney. <laughs> There's no way Courtney you can scare anybody. Courtney, Reginie, who else camera is oh, not on? <laughs> just put just put the camera on one side of your face, girl. There you go. Hey, just put your dreads in. Just put your, please, and it's not gonna be. Put your dreads in the camera. Let us know it's real. Okay, ponytail. We see you, girl. Okay, everybody, tell something that they learned tonight. Keisha, starting with you. Keisha is my star uh, student. What I learned tonight was making sure that we have content that's informational, inspirational, and entertaining. All right. Yay. Aisha, what did you learn tonight? Um, how to go into insights and see where um, the best times and days for me to uh, post or where I'm getting most of my followers or reach. All right, Felicity, what did you learn tonight? How to uh, check to see the best time for post. Okay. And I also learned that I need to be marketing my skills now. Gotcha. Catrice, what did you learn? I learned how to incorporate different types of content into my, um, my post. And I also learned how to price a spa party. Okay. Raina, what did you learn? We can't hear you on mute. Okay, so everything everyone said, and I also learned um, how to be ready when to move to Circadia. So, okay. yeah, when when to, when to be ready. Yeah. Okay, Reginie, can you turn your camera on and let us know what you learned? We are in a senior lapone cell, baby. Just come on back on on the screen, baby. I'm washing hair. Who are you watching? Why you got to be difficult? Why you got to be difficult? Hey, it's 10 o'clock, 9.30, damn it. Um, I 
Okay. So to my subscribers, to, to my subscribers who are watching my blog, you see how you have to have one student in the class who just don't do right. I want y'all. I want y'all to see this. We have <laughs> one student that just don't do right. Court, what did you learn? What you thought you learned that you can't find? I don't see it. So if I go and type in like Charlotte Nail Tech, how do I see the most recent in that? Okay, I'll show y'all in just a second. Courtney, what did you learn tonight? Okay, mommy, right now. goals. Somebody I missed. Uh -uh. And what else? Uh, how to start selling, um, like my affirmation stuff. Okay. And Jamirica's the last person, but we're not even going to waste our time with that because clearly she can't. Oh, she type. Oh, yes, ma'am. Type your answer, honey. Oh, uh, ooh, a paragraph. She learned content. She learned insight. She learned that I possibly shouldn't have posted <laughs> right now. She learned more marketing tools, making sure goals is set or products to use to get there, get out of her comfort zone and network and to get new clients and that I need to get rid of this damn phone because it's aggy. Amen, sister. Amen. Amen. traveling today so I am driving to Jacksonville today and then I am flying with my friends to Fort Lauderdale tomorrow um I want to be on the road by 10 it is currently 10 15 but I should be walking out there by like 10 30 so that's not that bad um Probably gonna ride about an hour or so before I stop and get food or anything. So, hold on, y'all. I'm trying to get this contact together. Because, where you at, girl? Hold on, it went in my eye. But where is it? Because it ain't where it's supposed to be. And I feel it like moving around. The other places, hold on, y'all. Like, contact, really? Hold on, y'all. All right, y'all, we got that situated. Now I just gotta wrestle with this hair a little bit. And I'm not gonna do much to it, but I do wanna kinda untangle it, y'all. When I be in this house during the week, <clears throat> I don't be doing anything to this hair. So by the time it's time for me to go somewhere, I really be needing to like break it down. Y'all probably sick of these braids, ain't no. <laughs> Y'all even send me somebody for an album then. No, not for real. But I had planned, I got a lot of traveling coming up. So I kind of planned, I really planned on taking these braids out before I went on this trip. But I thought about that it kind of made sense. Because we're going for a lot of them, so I don't know if like water activities are going to be involved. So it's like, oh, I might as well keep these. They old. If I get them wet, I get them wet. 
who cares? You know what I'm saying? Like that. So that was my thought process on that. And to be honest, I've told y'all before, like, they be looking bad when they kind of mad at the other. But with a little manipulation, you honestly can bring them back to life. And for me, the part that looked worse on my hair to me is always my scalp. It used to be really bad when I didn't have a perm because it used to be so peasy. But also because my dandruff. So my hair always looks so like dirty at the root. Because the rest of this can be fixed. But since I've been doing my little wipe down method, it honestly ain't been that bad. And I just kind of wipe between the parts because to be honest, when the braids look old, it's to me when they look the cutest. If it was some kind of way you could have like fresh parts but old braids, that would be fine. But my arm just jiggling. Every time I lose two or three pounds, my arms get acting like they ain't got good sense. Okay. I'm just trying to get in. And this just basically be product and dandruff and all that just kind of built up around the bottom of the braid, y'all. Now my lashes been doing just fine with my glasses on. As soon as I put my contacts in, it be like a conflict. Dang. I got time for that, okay? But yeah, we're gonna freshen these braids up. And I'm put my shirt on, and then we head back down. My bags and everything is packed and sitting up front. So all I gotta do is put that stuff in the car and we will be heading out because I'm, oh I told you I'm driving. I had a flight, but I ended up canceling it because I needed to drive. So yeah, there's that. edges looking good. I mean all these little dry spots. Okay. And people have suggested like I use dry shampoo and that kind of stuff. Y'all this hair, the hair that's the boho part of this hair, it is a it is a human synthetic blend. And I don't really know much about hair so I don't know if I can put like that kind of stuff on it and stuff. So y'all I just stick to what works for me. And see when they get real naughty like that, I just cut them off. Cause at this point, if I'm missing a few, who knows and who cares, you know? So I just cut them suckers right on off just like that. If they get too knotted up, I ain't got time to be trying to untangle no knots and all that, but for the most part, you wet this here, Get it good and moist. Hold on. Just go in between the parts. Kind of make sure you get all in there. And then it'd be real easy to, it don't be hard to manipulate at all. And you just kind of pull it to the end. And when you get to the end, this part that's not it. Y'all yeah, see that? I'll come right off like that. And you just drop it in the trash. Go on about your business, child. Go on about your business. We're going to put the other half over here so we can do that side too. But y'all, yeah, for the most part, just kind of pull the ends of that off where the nuts at. Put it in the trash. Spray it a little more. I love this spray bottle. When I tell you I love this spray bottle, and I need to, I'm supposed to be taking pictures in a few weeks, so I have to take my braids out to get my hair done for that. 
But I think I'm gonna get braids back in. I really wanna kinda wear braids for like a year. Like, and see what kind of hair growth and stuff I can get. Like, get my hair braided, keep it for maybe two months, take it out, wash it, condition it, whatever, treat it, get more braids. I really wanna wear braids for like a year. I do. Um, and if I can wear braids from like, 40, I'll be 43 in October, so from my 43rd to my 44th birthday. Mm -hmm. And just get them like different colors, different styles, but for the most part, just keep braids. Because I do want to try like a blonde mix. Probably not boho, just regular knotless braids with like a blonde mix. Because I'm sure boho hair and this synthetic blend in a color, probably going to be a knotty, matted mess, okay? So not color, I mean not boho, but I do want to wear like blonde, like Savannah James. Savannah James, LeBron James' wife. The color she wear her braids. I do want to do that. Y'all know I wore blonde hair for years. Like I wore blonde hair for years, like a brownish blonde from like 2000. I stopped getting perms in 2013. I started wearing colored hair in 2005. Mm mm. Because at my 33rd birthday, so that would have been 2014. So, like 2013 or 14, I started wearing like browns and blondes and colors of hair. And I didn't go back to black hair until, ooh, 2020. Maybe 2019 or 2020 or something like that. But I wore like reddish, I mean like blonde hair. From, I'm going to have to look through my pictures now, y'all, because I didn't know. But I wore like blonde hair for like six or seven years straight. And then I got tired of trying to find hair to match and match my leave out and getting my wigs dyed and all that stuff. And I just decided to go back to black hair. And I just have never been somebody who like, some people can you know, kind of like change up their hair colors. Like sometimes they have red, sometimes they have blonde, sometimes they have black. I'm, I just have never been that versatile, I guess. Cause either I wear black or I wear color. Like I don't wear color and then go back to black or wear black and then go back to color. Like I just kind of keep this whatever I'm doing, I just kind of keep it the same. But I think I'm gonna try that with my braids. So I think when I get my hair braided again, I think I'm gonna get not this no boho but like blonde colors. And then when I want to wear boho again, I'll go back to black. So if I get my hair braided, maybe like October-ish. um -ish. I could try to scratch them and keep them to January, <laughs> like three months. Yeah, which I've had these braids right now for three, almost three months. Um. So, yeah, I could try to do that and then just get them and keep them for the rest of the year or get them like rebraided like December. And then, but yeah, I think I'm going to try to wear braids for like a year. Just have, so I don't have to worry about like what I'm getting done in my hair. That'd be one thing I take off the plate of things I have to worry about because if you know me, you know my hair stresses me out. So when I have braids, like this has been the most relaxed I've been because I don't have to worry about it. I forgot to put the leave in on them, y'all. How y'all let me forget to put the leave in on them? Just gonna put them in the ponytail. Oh, shit, this making it easier to apply. Leave in. Um. What I was saying? Yeah, I ain't been having to worry about like what I'm getting done in my hair, and that honestly has made life so much easier for me. So, yeah, I think I'm. That's gonna be one thing that I take off the plate. I just get my hair braided and just keep it braided. Take them out, get it rebraided. Get it washed, get it conditioned, get it rebraided. And see how much my hair grows and all of that while I got braids. Okay. That's enough talking to y'all. I'm about to throw my shirt on and I probably will see y'all in the car. In the car, in the car. In the car, I'm trying to make sure I got everything I need from up here. My glasses, my contacts. Yeah, I see y'all in the car. All right, y'all, we on the road. <clears throat> I've been riding for like an hour and a half. 
Y'all, I didn't leave. I didn't technically leave my house till like 11. <sighs> it was so much with me getting in the car to go. So much happened. Um, I kept unlock. I'm not in my car, so I was unlocking my car door from upstairs. The light was lighting up on my car, like my car was unlocked because I had some stuff I had to get out of my car. <laughs> and got downstairs, the car was still locked. I did that twice, twice, and then I ended up having to go get the keys, come down, unlock the door. And then take the keys back up. It was just a lot to get on the road. But it's like 12 39. I just stopped, got gas, and I just ate me some Popeyes. It's so crazy how I will eat something one time and it be good, and I just keep eating and eating and eating. I done ate Popeyes about four times this week. Like, it's crazy. And today it was so good and fresh. Um, spicy white meat, that, that chicken was fresh. The mashed potatoes was fresh. Everything was spicy. The biscuits was fresh. It was just good, y'all. It was good. So. Now I'm about to get back on the road. I need to turn my music on. I'm trying to see what I want to listen to um, before I even start driving. So I can be... I just listen to like Juvenile the whole to get me here. So let me see what I want to listen to now. But yeah, let me get put my seatbelt back on so I can get back on the road. And I'll see y'all in a little bit. With my nips, with my bitches, up in my shows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Savannah to see Jamie. Y'all tell Jamie hey. Hey y'all. Skin by JD Aesthetics. Yes. So girl, we coming in the treatment room. Good vibes only. Yes, ma'am. This is cute. Thank you. I tried. This is cute. <laughs> I love black and gold. I really Whew, all right, y'all. I know y'all probably can barely see me because it's dark. Finally made it to Jacksonville. I actually been for a few hours. I stopped and saw my grandbaby. And I just stopped at Target. I mean, Publix. And got me a sandwich made. And now I am running at Target. I need a couple of little things for my toiletry bag out of Target. And I also want to look for... Hold on, y'all. I tried some new chips and it is hot as shit. Um, I also want to look for... Um... Me something to wear to the event. I gotta go to Sunday. So we finna run in Target. And I'll see y'all when I get back in the car. Y'all, I just stopped this random lady in the store and asked her to subscribe to my channel. She doing it too. Thank you, Anaya. You're welcome. You on TikTok? I don't really be on TikTok like that, girl. I can't keep up with TikTok. But it's Anthony's on TikTok too. Okay, yep. do. All right. Thank you, girl. All right. Mm -hmm. Just got me a subscriber in Target. Y'all. So I found these two pair of pants. <clears throat> And I'm thinking I could just put on like a tank top with one of them. I don't feel like trying them on though. They're the same pants, they're just different colors. So I really just need to try on one of them real fast. And I think I'm gonna go right back in the corner and try them on real quick. And then, so hold on, let's try these on. Okay, so I tried the pants on. I can't feel them any long enough. So I'm walking back over here to the men's section to look at the graphic tees. I ain't seen no women's graphic tees in here. <clears throat> but also, um, I could just do like a tank like what I got on now. I don't really want to do that, but I can. But let's look at the graffiti again. Now that I have pants. 
Let's see what we can do. The problem with the graphic tees, I want to see one that might be. They're like kitty. They're not like rock and roll graphic tees. And the ones that are, like this would have been cute, but they on the size they got is a medium. This is a sublime t shirt. Oh, oh shoot. Hold on, y'all. Good morning. <coughs> Good morning, y'all. It is Friday. Uh, August the 23rd, y'all. It's Fossey's birthday. Tell Fossey happy birthday. It's Fossey's birthday. <laughs> it's the weekend, so we baby. Are in I have injured accident. I sold out that last night, so we at the airport waiting on the shuttle to come take us to the airport. So we just parked. Um, we're headed to Fort Lauderdale. We'll be there all week. So I will be doing a travel vlog. I start that once we get in the airport. Um, so when y'all see this, the travel vlog will already be up because that usually goes up before this vlog goes up. So of course, this vlog will have little bits and pieces, but the travel vlog will be really where it's at. So. Make sure you tune in today. I just want to come on and say good morning. And I'll see you guys in the airport. Are you okay? <laughs> That's my answer. Will you put that out there? Okay. Okay. Yes, yeah, always be the best. There's no stress in the best. I know that you This is what they finna do. We had this for a concert. We, we had this for a concert. This is what they finna do. Oh, oh, oh. Murderer. Blood is on your shoulder. Kill like today, you cannot kill like tomorrow. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 Shanika has on her pajamas, but we're supposed to be getting ready for the concert. Do Foxy got on clothes on there? Foxy don't have on clothes, but you still put the camera over there. It's her birthday. Okay. It's my birthday all week long. That was Rochelle's booty y'all just saw. Don't put my booty on now. But she want me to put Foxy on there with her thong. That thong, come on. That thong, the thong, thong, thong. Bitch, that better be a thong. No, you don't. Baby. <laughs> Yo, <Yeah, laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, wait, we'll be back. It's the jump. It's the All right, y'all, so I'm about to get dressed for the concert. I just got the shower. So I'm going to be wearing this two-piece, just little three-inch shirt set that I got from Amazon. It's like a little crop top. And then I'm going to put my little Louis Vuitton head bandeau or whatever it's called around my head with my Louis Vuitton tennis shoes and a Louis Vuitton crossbody. So simple but cute. So I'm about to go ahead and get dressed and I'll let y'all see what it looks like. We left the concert, we went to um, Voodoo Bayou and got chicken because we all wanted chicken. We we're tired. We we're tired and we want to lay down. Lock that door, Morgan. I did. Look at the image I'm walking in with. And it's bedtime. My eyes are What time it is? I got on the watch, y'all. I saw what time it is. It's late. Who said, um, Can I get one? Yeah. You, uh, your stomach is already hanging out them pants. <laughs> you just said, look how you walking in here and come right there to town who Reese's Club. Y'all <laughs> 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 
The trash can inside. You know these are fancy houses. Where the trash can at? We never found it. It's not, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Rochelle! What? It's two trash cans right here. I said open the drawer. She said I did. It wasn't no trash cans in there. Oh, Rochelle the lady. I didn't know that. That's trash or trash bag she made. Y'all, I'll probably see y'all in the morning because as y'all can see, it is chaotic in this house. I just want to go to bed. I wish I had a room downstairs. Them stairs is so steep. Am I the only one that feel like they steep? It take a lot of the knee picking up to get up the stairs. Let me go wash my face though and stuff for y'all. I'm on the bed. See you guys. Is Me that Or is that for the camera? Like Good morning. Y'all, it is August the 24th, Saturday morning. I just got out of the shower. We are up getting dressed. Well, we ain't up getting dressed because Shamika just left. Um, and Fox and Rochelle at the store. So I just got out of the shower so I could just be out of the way. But we about to get ready to go on a boat ride for the day. I brought two different bathing suits. I don't know which one I'm going to wear. But I'll let y'all see what I have. In just a second, let me get up and get myself together. I just wanted to really come on here and say good morning. And, um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it, y'all. I really don't feel like going on the boat. Like, I'm tired. Y'all know I don't mind laying around all day. And that's really what I want to do. Um, but I believe that. Like, you go on somebody's birthday trip, you do what they want to do for their birthday. So, it's Fox's birthday. We here. Ain't no use to playing around. What in the world is it? Oh, ain't no use to playing around. Might as well, you know, do what we came here to do. We knew it was a boat ride plan, so let's get dressed and let's go on this doggone boat. All right, y'all. So this is what I decided to go with. Can y'all see me? My, the per the other person in the bag. Um, just one piece. I'm gonna have to beat it up, though. but we gotta go. We need to blowing. But I just want to show y'all. Just a little tail, that black slides. That's it, we out. Hey y'all, so we made it back from the club. <sighs> I gotta visit everyone like two hours. I'm about to wash my face and stuff. <clears throat> Get my stuff packed up. I'll see y'all probably at the airport. Might be in the air somewhere. But I'll see y'all. <sighs> All right, y'all. Good morning. It is Sunday morning. We are back in Jacksonville and we are headed to Content Creator, um, the Jacks Collective Content Creator, a brunch of creators event. Um, we're about five minutes away. Um, yeah, I got back this morning. I laid down, took me a nap. It, I don't know if y'all know, I can tell I still sound real raspy. I am tired. See, I didn't plan on going out last night. So, my plan was to not go out, get up, and then, you know, be fully refreshed, catch my flight and all of that. But that did not happen. So, I did not go to sleep till about 3.30. I had to be up at about 4.30. So, I just took a little quick little nap. Y'all know the flight from Fort Lauderdale to Jacksonville ain't nothing but an hour. So, uh, that was another hour of sleep. And then, by the time I got um, to my friend's house and laid down... <laughs> I got another hour, so I'm like two, three, like almost three hours worth of sleep, and I'm tired. So I'm headed to this event, so I'm probably gonna go and take me a nap after I'm done with this, and then I'll proceed from there. Come on, light, yeah. So light has changed, so I'll see you guys probably when we get there. All right, y'all. So I have a and I'm walking in. I'm about 30 minutes late, but. It's fine. They knew I was coming from out of town, so it ain't like nobody waiting on me, but they know I'm coming from out of town. <laughs> so, let's get in here, and this is where the event's happening. Prisa, Natalia, and the town center in Jacksonville. Hello, my name is Monica. I'm very, very, very new to this content creator world. Um, I have been following a lot of really beautiful women. I met Tracy. 
Carmen doesn't remember, many years ago at Essence Festival. Yeah. I'm so excited. Um, I'm so proud of Lisa. She talked to me. I think she called me. I don't know how I met Lisa, but she just reached out to me. We started talking. The DMs. The DMs again. <laughs> and I think what she's doing is amazing. I met a lot of you guys last year, and I'm just excited to follow you all. Keep pushing. Keep that lifestyle. Um, I am new into the content creation. I like to say, I, I tell people, they're like, oh, what, you know, what's your... took me a nap okay I took me a nap um I just pulled up at the hookah lounge and so I'm about to try to finish editing my video I started editing the video um why would they come out me I want to know us my video was supposed to go up yesterday it did not so I want to try to finish getting the editing and get it up today um before it's too late so we about to go ahead y'all know I can get my work done and hook I'm hungry too so I'm gonna just get me something to eat from here and then, yeah, so let's get out and do that. And I'll see y'all inside. <sighs> okay, y'all, so it is Sunday night. Um, I left the hookah lounge and I went and spent some time with my green girl. Um, and now I'm back in. I'm about to wash my face, take me a shower and call it a night. Um, I just wanted to come back on here and wrap the vlog up. 
Um, y'all already know how this go. Thank y'all for rocking with me if you made it this far in the vlog. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all know I love y'all because y'all love me. Don't forget to like and comment on the vlog. And if you have not subscribed, what the hell are you waiting for? Until next time, bye. Psh. One, one, what's the four, one, one? What's the four, one, one? What's the four, one, one?